Because of COVID-19, I believe that many artists are painting, drawing, creating art related to COVID-19. So after many years, when people would want to see what happened during COVID-19 in 2020, they will look it up and they will see so many artworks, pictures that have been taken by artists from different uh, schools of art, from different uh, parts of the world who spoke about COVID-19 um, through their art, through, through their creativity. They, when they say artists are the true historians, they are. Because when we go back and see what happened in 2020, you will see it through the arts. And if we look at the Soviet Union, the Soviet Union, if we look at the history of many countries, the history of many countries, وثقوا كثير من الثورات وكثير من المراحل الصعبة حتى مراحل اللي صارت في ألمانيا وانفصال الألمانيا غربية والشرقية وثقوها. The times we live in now are really different than, for example, what we were facing a year ago. From an artistic perspective, I think the general consensus, or at least what I felt or saw in the market, was that we were in a relative state of calm and our general expression artistically was that of suffering. Personally, I used to think this used to happen because not enough people would be talking about it and not enough people would be facing the truth behind their pain. And that kind of, self, uh, that kind of created a common ground for people to meet and bond and uh, to just develop better, more intentional work, I think, in a phase where a lot of people were kind of blindsided and you know, it was a mind-numbing, I think, experience or phase most people were going through. But now because of COVID, where well, everybody felt this kind of despair and suffering, I think a lot of the work that artists not necessarily have to produce, but I think will happen moving forward will be one of a brighter or more hopeful future. And that's because we need something to relay on. I know we all feel this pain and the suffering, but I think the kind of work that will be coming out of this, and I, I'm sure to each their own, this does not hold true for everyone, but I think it's, a blessing that everyone's appreciating that now we're getting out of the situation. Quarantine is being lifted. It's exciting to go out and create again. It's exciting to go back to your studio spaces and create again. I'm excited to go out into the field and shoot and produce again. And this carries with it an, an intrinsic, beautiful energy that I think will create such, I think, positive, beautiful, mindful work. <laughs> لأنها تاريخ لازم يميز يميز بالسلب الإيجاب إنما هي مرحلة تاريخية في حياة البشر ككل. The pandemic would definitely have an impact on the works that we will see either now or in the next few years. Uh, depending on the artists, they all express themselves in a different way. Um, some of them um, I've seen have not yet even started to understand what they've gone through. Uh, I personally have started working with expressing myself um, with different materials to express how I felt during the pandemic. I don't know how long would that be or how long that will continue. And I think it differs from one artist to the other, but definitely we'll see a residue of the pandemic in the next many years to come. <laughs> الواقع اللي هو العيشة هو الملهم للفنان فأعتقد راح تكون في أفكار جديدة أساليب ثانية أثروا في جائحة كورونا خصوصا نحن في الفترة هذه بعض بعض الفنانين شاهدنا أعمالهم نقلة جذرية بشكل مختلف جدا. I think when this is all over, um, artists will be renewed. There will be a huge, um, you will see differences in their practices because they've had this time to really rethink things and to develop and to look at mediums and maybe concepts and ways of expression that they hadn't in the past because they've had this period of time. So although this has been a challenging time for everyone, I think ultimately it will uh, lead to a positive change and it will give people 
a, a renewed interest in the things they do and in, in new other things that they've had the opportunity to experience during the pandemic. واعتقد ان في بعد جائحه كورونا راح يكون هناك مردود اخر او فكر اخر في كيفيه سير الحياه او كيفيه الحلول اللي ممكن يتغلب عليها الانسان او يتغلب عليها اي شخص اذا حصلت ظروف مثل هذه الظروف. I think the artists are the true historians. History is normally written by the victor. But the artists are not in a battle. The artists can tell the truth. They can say exactly what it is, either by the lack of art or by art that expresses it. There has been an outpouring of art by artists which reflects COVID. Different types of art have been happening because of COVID. The whole changes in the digital viewing of art is because the artists had to push this medium forward and they're continuing to do that. We truly need the artists to record what is happening, but they already are. They are the true historians. طبعا لا شك ان الجائحه اثرت علينا نفسيا سواء كان فنان او غير فنان تشكيلي. ولكن اللي أشوفه أنا مع الوقت أن أكيد هالمشاعر أو الفترة اللي عاشها الفنان راح تأثر عليه حتى لو هو حاول يتفاداها سواء كان طريقة أو في موضوع العمل أو أو ممكن يكون حتى في في طريقة الرسم أثناء هذه الجائحة فعلا كان الفنان التشكيلي هو المؤرخ الحقيقي للزمان والمكان من خلال تصويره ومن خلال الاحداث اللي مر به العالم او المجتمع اللي يعيش فيه الفنان صور الكثير من الاحداث سواء هذه الاحداث هو مر بها او سمع فيها عن طريق الاخبار او عن طريق قنوات التواصل الاجتماعي ونلاحظ ان هناك الكثير من الفنانين صوروا هذه الجائحه وهذه تنحسب طبعا او تؤرخ لهذه الفتره مثلا احيانا ممكن يكون يعني او انا اكون في بلد غير الامارات ومريت بنفس الظروف وهذه الجائحه يمر بها كل العالم فانا في في المكان الاخر راح اصور هذه الجائحه وراح اصور كذلك المجتمع اللي كنت اعيش فيه والبيئه اللي اعيش فيها بظروف تختلف فهنا فانا صورت مكان غير الوطن اللي انا اعيش فيه وارخت لزمن او فتره معينه في مكان اخر ونفس الشيء يحصل للفنانين الاخرين فالفنان فعلا هو المؤرخ الحقيقي للزمان والمكان في هذه الفتره <تصفيق>